Hello everyone, welcome back once again. Yesterday, SpaceX's attempt to conduct a full wet dress rehearsal on the full stack Starship was unsuccessful due to unknown reasons. Before wrapping up the testing, SpaceX performed a water deluge test under the orbital launch mount. It was exhilarating to witness some activity at the launch mount after about three months. Another road closure schedule is in place for another potential wet dress rehearsal today. Just seven and a half hours apart, SpaceX completed a doubleheader by launching two missions for the United States Space Force and Intuitive Machines. First, the USS F-124 mission carrying six satellites was launched atop a Falcon 9 rocket from SLC-40 in Florida at 5.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Mission and lift off. Go Falcon, go 124. The first stage booster supporting the mission completed its seventh launch and landing. It marked the 13th launch of the year for SpaceX. Stage one landing light deploy. Stage one landing Stage two. A few miles away, another Falcon 9 launched Intuitive Machines IM-1 mission ten, carrying the Nova C nine, lunar lander from eight, SLC-40. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, ignition, and liftoff. Go SpaceX, go IM-1 and the Odysseus lunar lander. Vehicle pitching down range. The first stage booster used on this mission, B-1060, was on its record 18th flight. After stage separation, it successfully landed back on Earth at landing zone 1. Falcon 9 touches down for landing. IM-1 could become the first United States lunar lander mission to successfully land on the moon since the last Apollo mission that ended over 50 years ago. It could also become the first commercial spacecraft to achieve a soft landing on the moon. The spacecraft successfully separated from the Falcon 9 second stage and is now on its way to the moon. In eight days from now, on February 22, it will attempt to land on the lunar south pole, paving the way for future Artemis missions, including those involving SpaceX's Starship HLS. Although SpaceX attempted to launch three missions in under eight hours, the Starlink 714 mission from Vandenberg was scrubbed due to unspecified reasons. SpaceX is keeping us busy with all these exciting launches and testing. Teams will make another attempt to launch the Starlink mission, and before that conduct a wet dress rehearsal on the Starship ahead of Flight 3. That's it for now. Thanks for watching, and I will be back with more updates in the next video.